Well, hey everybody, welcome to the Animal Donut Channel. My name is Jeff Luke. I am a professional photographer here in Seattle, Washington, and I uh, thought I would tell you a little bit about the start to my day so you could get a view into the life of a professional photographer and uh, get an idea a little bit about what it's like um, kind of to start one of my days off. Today um, was a little bit unusual because I have sort of had back-to-back -back photo shoots. I had one last night um, here in Seattle. It was uh, finished up around, I don't know, I got there around 6.30 or 7, and it went until about 9 o'clock. Uh, I got home a little bit late, and then uh, this morning I didn't have anything scheduled for today, but that all changed. I got a call first thing this morning. But um, anyways, what happened was I woke up this morning, and... Um, it was a pretty chill morning. I was just gonna take the dog out for a walk and sort of enjoy the start of the day. And uh, I had a lemon that I blended with some blueberries and some stevia to sort of start the day because I'd seen this YouTube video. And uh, the guy said, it was sort of a challenge, but he said, these are so healthy to have not just lemon in water or lemon water, but to actually blend a lemon with the seeds and the skin and the white part under the skin, the whole pith, just blend it all together with some water and some blueberries and some stevia and try that to start your morning. He said, it's really good for you and it'll make you feel good and it'll be super healthy. So anyways, that's what I did. Uh, this is officially um, the first morning in maybe two or three years that I haven't started it with coffee. So we'll see how this goes. Um, anyways, I was just uh, flipping through my phone in my sweats and nice and comfortable this morning. Um, and uh, just to let you know a little bit about how I start my day, um, I log into my freelancer websites because I do a bunch of um, photography and video work and I have freelancers that I work with, you know, all over the world. Some of them are in, you know, um, the Ukraine, some of them are in India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Bangladesh, you name it, South America, Colombia is the last uh, freelancer I hired there. And I just check in to see how things are going with the retouching they do on my photos, the animation work that they do, and also the video editing. Um, so I did that this morning and then I checked the stock market. I use the um, the Schwab app and I also, I don't have an account with Robinhood, but I really like their user interface. So I went over to Robinhood and uh, I just took a look at which um, stocks are doing well, which ones are not doing well, and also um, pay attention to the international markets and uh, emerging markets. So. That's something I'm interested in. In addition to being a photographer, I am an author and I've written a couple books about investing. So I keep up on everything going on with stocks and ETFs and uh, investing both in the United States and then internationally. Um, so anyways, while I was on my sofa scrolling through the phone and getting up to date and just anticipating taking Rosie out for a walk, um, I got a phone call from a client and they said, Jeff, we just hired somebody. We need you to come in and do a headshot for them. When's the soonest? And I had a, a lot of times when people ask me to do a photo shoot and they say, what's your availability or how soon? We're talking like, can you come over in two days or in three days or can you make it tomorrow? But anyways, uh, they told me that they needed it today if possible. And I said, you know, this was at like nine this morning, I guess. They, I said I could be here at you know, 10. So anyway, um, I showed up and as it turns out, the guy I'm supposed to photograph, he's a new hire, didn't have a suit jacket. And so that's apparently really important that he looks really sharp. So um, I think they've sent him back to get the suit and uh, they just set me up here in a conference room all to myself, as you can see. And um, I put, I um, actually put all my camera gear hair out on the desk and I thought, I could just sort of tell you a little bit about the gear I have here and maybe relate some stories and some um, experience that I have 
with photography so that those of you watching who might be photographers yourselves or artists or just entrepreneurs who are interested in how someone else prepares for work can uh, get a visual idea and also some stories about things. So um, anyways, I'd say um, one of the key things to photography, if you want to do this professionally that I think everybody should know is, is that people are counting on you. It's an art, it's a way of connecting with people um, through, through your vision, through your um, creative works, that's the best way to put it, and your imagination. And they count on you to, to show up. So for example, I'm here because I got here even though there was a lot of uncertainty. They just said, can you be here this morning and I'm here. But a lot of times you wind up waiting. Um, but showing up and showing up early even even uh, when they don't tell you to be early is really key. I can't tell you how many times, you know, things you don't under, you don't expect to happen happen. You get a flat tire on your way to a photo shoot. Um, you get into like a lot of traffic, something happens, you forgot something, you have to circle back. So um, all kinds of things can happen and uh, showing up and being early is really key. I, uh, I had a shoot last night I mentioned and um, I hired an assistant for it. He's a great guy and we've been working together for several years and I've known him for forever. And I pulled into this parking lot near the job about a half hour early and I noticed he had rolled in just before me, you know. And like we didn't have to be there till 7 and here it is 6.30. And an assistant who really doesn't have to be there for another half hour, he's there. And that's just, it's its the great part of being a team is when um, when you can count on other people to, to be responsible and to be really reliable. And um, so that's a big part of kind of what we do. Um, on that whole thing of being reliable and being um, prepared for whatever is going to come your way, I thought I would show you a few things uh, in my my camera bag, which is really a rolling case. As you can see, it's, this is a great case. I love this one. I think I got it on Amazon. I like how it's orange inside and not black because when you're, um, when you're fishing for stuff, um, a lot of the times I'm doing photo shoots, it's outside. Sometimes it's dark, sometimes it's indoors, but poorly lit. It's really nice to have contrast so you can actually, you know, find things. So anyways, that's a great case. Um, I'll show you a few things here. This is a, uh, this is a camera that I use. It's a Canon. Um, it's uh, It's got a great lens. I love this lens. It's a 135 f2 for those of you who love photography. I use this. Um, it's my favorite portrait lens. And um, on this Canon 80D, it's even more of a telephoto than it would be on a full frame sensor. And uh, I also have a rotating bracket underneath it. As you can see, uh, this sits on the tripod like this. And I just have one hand here, so you can see this is in a vertical orientation, but I can swivel it to horizontal mode um, real easily without disturbing the balance of the camera. So this is a phenomenal bracket, custom bracket. And um, camera, there's not a lot else to say, but this also shoots video. And um, I, uh, I just find this a really dependable, great camera, the ADD. I know there are other great cameras out there. This one just works for me. I've been using it for years. Um, a few other things I will show you. I have a multi-tool here. I keep this in the camera case. Let's see, can I get this out of the case with one hand? I just think it's super helpful to have one of these in your camera bag. Um, this one's got pliers, as you can see, which are super helpful if you've got um, light stands and cables and connectors and bolts and whatever you might have on a photo shoot uh, that needs tightening, especially like light stands and tripods have screws and bolts and little things coming loose all the time. So I think it's great to have a multi-tool. I've got this here. Anybody guess what this is? This is a, uh, a business card holder. Here are a couple of cards and um, it holds just a bunch of these. These are my business cards. and. Um, I think it's really key to have one of these, you know, even in this day where a lot of people, you know, don't use business cards because you're online and you're talking to people, chatting, emailing, texting, whatever, but having a business card, especially one with a logo, get a logo. A lot of people don't have logos. 
you know, whatever they call it, branding. Branding's really important, but having a good logo is awesome. And you can put it on everything associated with your business and people associate that shape with you. So if they see something online, they see a website, they see an invoice from you, they see a postcard, it's got that on it, maybe a sticker and uh, that's just your brand. So anyways, get a card if you don't have a business card already. Um, this here is, some of you might know what this is. It's a mirror and um, it's like the last thing that I would ever need or want to have in my uh, camera case. Oh, cool, look at that. Um, but I decided to get one of these because one of my portrait clients said one day like, hey, do you have a mirror? She wants to check her hair, um, make sure everything was in line before we started her photo shoot. And I didn't. And uh, she said, well, it might be nice just for your subjects to have a mirror so we can check before having our picture taken. So I listened and I keep this in my camera bag and almost on a daily basis, people ask, hey, do you have a, do you have a mirror? And I just say, yes, I do. So anyways, that's that. Um, along the lines of being prepared, this is an extra memory card right here. Here, here's another one. I just keep these in my camera case. Uh, this is beyond what's in my camera right now. I just have extras. And the reason for that is um, that you never know when you're gonna run out of memory or you're gonna leave one in your computer because you were downloading the photos to Lightroom. Um, yesterday and then you got busy and then you got called for an early morning shoot like this and you forgot to take things. So uh, just assume that things will get lost. The entropy of life will will cause everything to get scattered and for you to forget things at important times. So that will happen. Be prepared with extra memory. This bag here is full of batteries. Here, I'm not gonna open this zippered bag with one hand, but you can see some Energizer batteries in there. And um, this is just all redundancy. This is extra stuff. Um, batteries that I probably already have in other devices. Here, I can actually unzip this with one hand. I love it. I love a good challenge. But it's got these here. These are double A's. And um, I've also got some triple A's. You can see the little box there is some triple A batteries. And I just get a whole bunch of these. And along with, um, these are the batteries that power my Canon camera. So I just have like a bunch of these charged and ready to go because sometimes when you're on a photo or a video shoot, at the times you most need it, you'll find, you know, the camera batteries dying and you don't ever want to stop everything. You can't afford to stop for an hour or two to charge your battery. So have a bag full, full of batteries, just like you have a bunch of memory cards. Um, what else can I show you? I've got, a flash here. This is a speed light that I occasionally use. I don't use this for a lot of my portrait work because I'm either using bigger flashes, strobes, or available light. But I've got this and I've got this TTL cable right here. And everything here connects together and attaches to the camera. And um, I've actually made some pretty cool photos recently on the fly using just the camera the speed light and that TTL cord. A couple other things here. Um, this here, some of you photographers might know what this is. Uh, this is a handheld transmitter and there's the button that you push right there. And there's the receiver for that transmitter and a cable plugs into the camera right there. Woohoo! And um, what you can do is you can set the tripod, the camera up on a tripod and um, put the receiver into the camera port and then I can fire my camera from anywhere in the room. And that's super useful if um, I want to take pictures of people. A lot of times if you're standing behind the camera and your eye is to the eyepiece and you're taking pictures, people will feel um, really self-conscious because, you know, there you are looking at them through the camera. And by the way, I just realized I've been looking at the phone at my image, but I think it might look better if I looked into the lens. So I'm going to try to talk into the lens now. Um, anyways, if you're looking at them eye to eye, if you're making eye contact, uh, people feel a lot more comfortable than if you're standing hiding behind the camera. So what I can do is I can actually stand behind the camera, but make eye contact and talk with people 
And while I'm talking to them, I can push this button. And each time I, I push the button, it takes their picture and then they feel a lot more um, comfortable and at ease. So anyways, this is an awesome tool. If you take pictures of people and your camera is on a tripod, I highly recommend giving it a shot. Um, it can be useful for other things too. Like when you're doing lighting tests, you can take a picture of yourself and you don't have to use the self timer. You can just take as many pictures as you want without having to go back to the camera and push buttons. Along those lines, uh, this here is a really cool device I will share with you. <laughs> uh, this here is a disc. Um, the reason I got it is because you can put a speed light into this end of it. There we go, you can see right there. Speed light goes, wait a second. Yeah, right there, there's a little pouch. It just goes in there and then you can point it towards your subject and this gives a nice diffuse light. It's just a diffusion material, um, but it's good for portraits if you don't have a lot of other equipment and you're shooting quickly. Um, but you can also use this as a white balance. So I'll just shoot a frame with this as a reference when I'm doing portraits or this side, doesn't matter. And then when I'm in Lightroom, I can just click with the eyedropper on that and I give it a, a um, guide or whatever you call it, a reference point. There you go for, um, for white balance. So anyways, that is that. Um, what else? This here is just a transmitter that goes on top of the camera and triggers the flash unit. I've got some pretty powerful battery powered strobes. I might as well show you since I told you here is the battery. And here is the strobe unit. It's just uh, very simple. It's very compact. Well, this one's real cool because it actually has a grip. Can you see that? So it's made, I suppose you could actually have your assistant hold it or you could hold it by yourself. And um, anyways, this is really cool. I use these a lot. I have this, it's all charged and ready for today's shoot. If that ever happens, they told me that, um, I should be starting this shoot in about an hour or an hour and a half. So, and then the other thing you should know is this whole gear here that I have keeping me company in the conference room. I have a duplicate of everything here. It's in my car. It's in a, another black camera case and it everything's duplicated. So, um, if anything breaks down or if anything gets lost or I, get to my car in the morning and something's gone, I have, you know, I have a duplicate of everything. So why? Well, things break, like I was saying earlier, and there's entropy and disorder in the world. And um, as a photographer, you don't want to have a photo shoot and someone says, can you do these pictures? And you have to give some kind of a excuse for why um, you're not ready. So uh, one of the ways to always be ready is just have a backup. That's part of being professional. So have a backup for your cameras, have extra lenses, have extra memory, have recharged batteries, and you can always say yes, and you can always show up. And then um, if something breaks, you can always fix it. Uh, so anyways, there you go. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me a little bit. Uh, it's been fun sharing something about my work and my attitude. Um, I know this isn't so much a creative uh, video, about you know the creativity of taking pictures as it is just a nuts and bolts but here I am in a in a pretty small conference room with all of my gear and I thought hey what better thing to do than share uh, this experience with some people out there on YouTube land so uh, if you're watching this um, you know please just as they say down in the comments uh, if you have a question or just you just write and say, hey, I saw this video. Then I'll know that uh, I didn't make this video just for myself, that someone else saw it. And hey, maybe you have a question about photography or a comment or an idea or just want to say hi. So put it in the comments. I will definitely check in on this video and see if anybody saw it. So don't, don't assume somebody else is stepping forward and saying hi. Uh, you do it yourself. Just put in a couple words. Let me know who you are, or where you are, or what about this video um, you found interesting. And uh, it'll make my day to hear from you. So 
I hope you guys uh, have a really nice day. Wherever you are, this finds you well. You're enjoying life, doing something creative, something productive, something useful. And uh, I hope you'll check back. Um, like this video uh, if you can. It'll make it um, maybe show up in some other people's streams. And if you like this and you'd like to see some more content, please consider subscribing. And uh, then you'll be able to see more of the videos as I make them in the future. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching this. And I uh, hope that you have a really awesome day. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.